what to do, YouTube. Hold on, let me turn my car real quick. Damn, they're kind of shiny, don't I? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting off work. It don't, it don't even matter. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy NW2 back with another short, short and sweet video. Um, it's just about 14 gears. You might probably see the title and the thumbnail. Um, yes, I installed 14 gears finally on my car. Um, I actually was going to upload this video like a while ago, but you know me being lazy, so whatever. Forget about that. This is just a simple video, just to show the 14 gears that I added on. Um, from my stock. I, my 2006 Mustang GT, uh, my stock gears are like 331 stock gears, so now I have 14 gears. And let me tell you, the acceleration on this car is so much different, man. This feels like a whole new car. Um, like just one small, simple bolt on. Well, I don't know if it's a bolt on. One small, simple mod. Okay, I ain't gonna say small, simple because uh, it took about a day to do. Um, this just this, this is mod. Um, <laughs> this is one mod can make your car feel totally different, like a brand new car. Um, I'm gonna show some short clips I have um, when I was doing some type of some small pulls when, in my um, 331 gears, and um, I didn't like get that many pulls because like I just start thinking about doing like uh, a video before I go into the shop uh, real quick, and I did it last minute, like on the day of I was going to the shop. So while I was driving there, I just tried to do like a couple pulls from like um, I think I did like a zero to forty or a zero to sixty pull. I'll show you in, in a little clip. You'll see it. Um, and like another pull is like a well, like a 20 to 60 and like a 60 to 100 we'll see it's just like it's like a few short clips it's not that many but it's just to show you guys just like a small difference or a big difference what 14 gears could add on to your car and uh, i know i could have went with uh, like other gears if i want to like put more boost into my car in the future which may be an option but i don't know yet well here's a short clip of my um of my gears when it was stock and then show the difference from stock to 14 gears just to see the um you'll see the speedo go up a lot quicker and stuff and the acceleration just like you might see me jerk jerk around a little bit because i got my phone on my hand trying to record and stuff but uh hope you guys like it and uh here's a clip yep try to do it another side that's the best i can do i could do for like zero to 40 row well, not road, but like from zero to 40. Hope you guys enjoy that. So there goes the short clip of that I have when I was doing my pulls for my stock gears and to now my 14 gears. And uh, man, ever since I got these gears, I'll just be driving crazy as hell, man. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, not crazy. Uh, maybe like a little moderate drive, moderate pulls here and there. Yes, sir! No, we gotta have a little fun in the sports car. So like, who drives? Who gets a sports car and drives slow? Also, let me note too when I um when you guys do upgrade your gears in your car, there is a break-in period. I mean. It might be different for like different type of uh, companies and stuff from when I got from Ford Performance, um, I had to go with the 500 mile break-in period. Knowing me, I didn't I didn't do the 500 mile break-in period because uh, you would have to like drive like 55, like over, like the highest you can go like on the freeway is probably like 55 or 60, but I didn't go no higher than that. And going 60 in this car is like very slow kind of, well to me in my opinion, it feels very slow. Everybody driving past me because I got to drive like a grandma right now because of these gears. Just wait till the gear to break in. I'm gonna smoke everybody. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And um, yeah, and I had to do that for like 500 miles. Me, I didn't do that for 500 miles. I did it my break-in period of time. I just did um, I did about at least 200 miles. I'd say or 250, and then I just started getting on it. And my gears weren't perfectly fine. I've been driving this ever since then, almost every day. Well, not too every day because I just do have my daily over there, Big Vanessa, if you can see. But um. I do drive this uh, around time to time, and when I when I have driven it, um, I have I've experienced no problems at all. 
Um, so I guess I broke it in pretty well. I mean, I do kind of drive slow anyway, like a grandma, like my wife would say, but, um, or grandpa. <laughs> But uh, yeah, be very mindful if you guys decide to do gears because you do have to do a break-in period. And uh, at least I think so. With my gears, I had to do a break-in period. So if you guys have a, a Mustang, so I'm going with four performance gears, you would have to do like at least, they say they rated at 500 miles, but I think you probably may be good at like maybe 200, 250 miles from driving from like moderate, like a grandpa around the city and stuff, grandma or grandpa, whichever gender you are. But um. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's perfectly fine. And as soon as I finished my break-in period too, also I wanted to point out, um, like right around like 250, I just started getting on it a little bit more. I didn't punch on it like too crazy. Like I was just like, um, like, you know, getting a feel for it. So like I accelerated a little bit and I did a couple of like, did like probably one pull or two pulls like that day when I first finished my break-in period. And then, um, yeah, and after that, I just started driving normally and then now as i'm like reached up like higher in miles and stuff like almost like 300 miles i was like getting on even more so like gradually you just increase more uh, power as the gears was like as the miles add up as the gears start to break in and stuff so yeah that is all for the video like comment and subscribe to my channel and it's your boy nw2 don't mean to be rude and i'm out of here wait hold on follow me on instagram too at nw2 underscore i'm gonna put it somewhere on the screen so you guys can see it Maybe down there, maybe up there. I don't know, maybe over there. I really don't know. But it's your boy NW2. Don't mean to be rude, but I'm out of here, baby.